Welcome back to my channel. So it's your girl Kimberly Rain, and I'm back with another video. So basically, it's you kind of a week, and I'm doing my hair today myself because I am a broke UA student, and I don't have the money to pay a hairdresser to do my hair. So I have to do DIY everything in life. You know, I'm gonna do this half up, half down, three part with the bang and the hair. I wanted to like show you all how I would do it. For myself because I know you know it's hard out there money's tight so if I can help somebody else out there know or learn how to do their own weaves and styles at home then hey we're saving money together and that's what I'm here for so yeah I guess we'll just get right into the video so this is the hair that I got it's by sensational is the Empire 100% human hair I got it in the color 1b in 14 inches and it is the style straight and then I got some weaving thread so that I could and a needle so that I can obviously attach it to my hair and some ebon wonder lace bond hairspray to mold my actual hair so that it would stay in place and then I also got some hair bond to just add in a little bit of bangs at the front for some fullness. These are the multitude of tools that I'll be using to style my hair. I also used a hair dryer. I actually used two, but you'll see the other one in the video. And I also used a flat iron so that I could get my hair as straight as I possibly could so that it would look as sleek as possible. And obviously some heat protectant. So to start off, I'm just showing you how I have my hair braided down. My friend Tasia did this for me, lovey boo. And it's just seven cane rows in the back and they're all like connected at the bottom there. And so how I actually sewed my hair in is that I actually double wefted it. So I would put my needle at the corner right there and that's where I would start the actual weaving part process part. I don't know. <laughs> So what you see in here is uh, me catching my royal nanin trying to put this uh, needle through my hair because I, I, I don't know why I do it, you know, I only did this once before and I got really frustrated so I just pulled it off my hair to try it again. This time I think I decided to like watch a video and get some ideas on how to actually do this <laughs> and I got the tip to put some bobby pins to support the rest of the weave so that it make it easier to like get the first stitch in but i don't know was giving me problems so eventually i got it i got it together your girl got it together because i had no other choice but to get it together because you know i had places to go and things to do so that's what you're seeing me doing here when i finally got it together of course it's sped up because ain't nobody got time to sit down and watch me do a weave in real time eventually i get to the next side and you'll see what i do on the next side basically i flip it over so that I'd be able to continue the weave without having to cut the wefts and this would help me to be able to like reuse it. You see this clip here? Yeah, that's me contemplating my life because why would I do this to myself? So here I'm just making sure that the weave is in place so I can put the bobby pins and then I'm just going to start back sewing and for a better view of how I exactly sew it in I just have this clip in here. It's really difficult to explain but I basically sew the needle and then pull it through the loop. Just like I guess what the video over and over play it over if you need to to see exactly how i do it at this point you girl wake up her appetite because this is no easy feat so pizza break so this is just more of the same me sewing in the um weave and that's really it just watch the video and you know be a visual link <laughs> So here I'm showing you how I would secure the end of the weft after I cut it. So basically I would just cut the ends of the thread then tie those ends into like several simple knots and that would basically secure the end. And then I'd cut off the excess um, weave and start a whole new track. This right here is very important. Remember to brush out your weave so it doesn't get tangled up into the next track when you're sewing. And just look at the material. I really did that you know. It's really flat. I mean. That little piece in the middle there I, I i can't see my head in the back i don't have eyes in the back of my head so you know i think i did a really good job let me know if you think i did a good job in the comments below so moving on to the front of my head now i'm just um parting it up so that i can start to blow dry it in sections and 
yeah then i just subdivided into more sections so it'll make blow drying easier because i want to get it as flat as possible so it'll look as close as possible to how i want it to look like in the image personally i think using the comb attachment on a blow dryer is the best way to achieve that kind of flatness and it's also easier than using like a brush and a comb or maybe just i just can't do it like that i just i don't know but it saves time and it's so much easier so this is just me finishing up that side and yeah um don't hate me but i guess my camera wasn't recording at this point um where i was flat ironing but basically i had already flat ironed that whole half of my head and then i flat ironed the other part of my head and i did the chase method but you'll be able to see it later on and i'm doing the bangs and you'll see exactly the method i use but for right now i'm just parting my hair to get the v part in the front that would give the like kind of y2k effect and then i'm going to just section off the little bang section first so that it's out of the way and i'd be able to like really sleek down and get the back into that sleek um half up ponytail style so to do that i have to do it in sections and when i part a section i would use the ebon um adhesive bonds hairspray to mold the hair and then i would smooth that down with my with my fine tooth comb first and then use my roommate's blow dryer that doesn't have an attachment on it to blow hot air onto it so that it can dry quickly and set in place and that's called molding the hair now this step is very important because that is what's going to prevent your hair from reverting if you are natural and that's why you also have to do it in small sections at a time so that it can be flat as possible y'all see how flat that is how sleek that is stiff where stiff there because that's what we want we don't want to see it to move at all so it's basically the same thing on the sides you're just going to do it in sections and then mold down the hair putting the hairspray then the dryer then the fine tooth comb to smooth it out and then i use this little edge brush to then further smooth out any other lumps and bumps and flyaways I just alternate between a, done, a bunch of different like brushes and combs and I use this hard brush as well to just smooth everything on the whole down like it just each each tool has a different purpose while I was checking out the hairstyle here can you guess which song I was dancing to you have three two one So after the hair is molded, I take a rubber band that I soaked in oil before and just put the ponytail into this little bun with my the ends of my hair left out so that I can like fan it out to get that Y2K effect. And then I use the flat iron to just curl the ends a little bit so it looks like how it did in the image. And then I use a little bit of hairspray to try and set it. So now I'm just parting the bangs diagonally and sectioning one side off so that I could work on the first side to add in the piece of hair. So essentially I just split that section in two and get a track and cut it to the desired length and add the bonding glue onto the track and then apply it to my hair, not the scalp, the hair itself and let that dry and to help it dry faster i use the blow dryer to get it to dry so as i mentioned before this is the chase method that i was talking about with the flat iron where i would use the comb to like smooth out the bang itself and then follow with the flat iron behind it yo i really did that Yo, look at these results now. Oh, you cannot tell me I didn't do a good job. Like, I don't I do not do hair like that. <laughs> and this is how it was in the party and how it held up. And I, I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you learned something. <laughs> and see you next time. Okay.